Hello and welcome to the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life in Wales. I just wanted to look straight down at the palette today and um, look at all those lovely blues. Yes, well, Christmas is on the horizon. So let's have a think about that one today. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. Thank you very much for watching that introduction. And don't, forget don't forget to like, to comment, subscribe. share and subscribe and all that jazz. And without any further ado, I'm just going to... I forgot to put some white on my palette. So I'm going to put some white on my palette. And as I do that, um, let's discuss the colours. So we've got a bit of processed blue. If you haven't got processed blue, it doesn't matter, any light blue, but I would avoid cerulean blue because that's got a green bias to it. Um, so I got processed blue, I got ultramarine blue, which is a warm, more of a red side. I got a Prussian blue, which is quite a dark blue, mixed with a burnt umber can make a black. I've also got red, so red and blue is gonna make a violet. So I'm looking at violety blue colors today. On, on the painting that I'm going to be doing, I got a little bit of yellow to mix with the red if I want to make an orange or a mix with the blue if I want to make a green. Um, and that's that really. I got some Mars black and some burnt umber. These are these are my uh, darkening colours and my shadow colours. I just keep to those basic colours. Add a little bit of blue in and I, I do all that, warm it up and cool it down. And I got a bit of titanium in white. So let's have a look at our canvas it's not a canvas it's a piece of board but you can paint on anything you like as long as it's not shiny or too smooth because that's where the problems arise with um, acrylic paints we've also got a little bit of gesso on there and all i've done is mixed up a little bit of white i put some um, chalk in there um, or calcium carbonate or whatever you want to call it a bit of marble dust anything like that baking powder um, a bit of uh, titanium white I mix that around with a little bit of water, not a lot, just to get it nice and smooth. And I put some burnt umber in there as well. And that's basically all I use for painting this on. So I put two coats of my ground on and we are ready to roll. So let's get some titanium white. Now I'm thinking maybe a little bit of ultramarine blue today, just on the tip of my brush. And let's just get that. I don't want this to be too light, but then again, I don't want it to be too blue if that makes any sense i want a nice it's been snowing and you know what snow is like it, it gets it it's all white and got that uh, white type of sky but sometimes sometimes it can be a little bit dirty as well um i don't know what the skies are going to be like around the world i don't know because i i don't travel that much really <laughs> especially in the winter months no i'm normally tucked up in bed like a bear Yes, I'm, uh, I tend to eat and drink a lot. Not so much drink. Uh, I'm not an alcoholic or anything like that. But um, I don't. I don't drink a lot. But especially over Christmas, I like my. I like my glass of wine. <laughs> so there you go. Whatever works for you. That's what I say. Whatever works for you. So I'm getting that sky in place and that. I'm going to get a little bit of burned umber. Just a little tiny smidge. That's like that. I want to darken this sky up. Make it look dirty. There you go. It just takes our blueness, our harsh blueness away on, on sky like that. Let's get a little bit more white. A little bit more Prussian blue. Uh, sorry, not Prussian blue. I'm burned umber. I don't know why I said Prussian blue then. I don't know. Why did I say Prussian blue? I have no idea. Sometimes the brain just says what it wants to say. And I'm thinking, why, why did I just say that? <laughs> so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not doing very well this last couple of weeks because I've been struggling a lot with my mental health and I, I suffer with uh, deep anxieties and stuff. Um, we've had a bit of a run of bad luck between one thing and another. Like everybody else, you're struggling with money as well. You know, the, the cost of living is really bad here in the UK. Um, but there's a lot of people a lot worse off than we are, and I, and I know that. But, you know, everything is relative, isn't it, to ourselves? And that's what I think. 
So we need just to sometimes just do something that makes us happy, and this makes me happy. It was a bit of a it was a bit of a hard job getting into the studio today because I really didn't feel as if I've got my mojo on. Um, not at all today. So if this this might work, this might not. I'm not making excuses, but it might not work. <laughs> So I want to get some, um, I want to get some, I want to wash my brush. That's what I want to do. I want to wash my brush. I want to get some uh, ultramarine blue. A bit of red. Make a violet-y type of colour. Okay, let's just take that down now with a bit of white. Take it down even more. Oh, that's a lovely colour. Look at that. I quite like that actually. That's what I want. A nice little, nice pale, nice pale purpley violet colour. So I'm just gonna put that in place like this. All over. Got a bit of a darker bit on my brush there, but that's okay. Let's just brush that in there. If you have trouble with your with your um, acrylics blending and stuff. I, I love painting on, on hardboard and cardboard, mount board, whatever you want to call it. Um, because cause it's a, a, um, a paper, paper composite really. It's, uh, it's compressed card, isn't it? Basically paper. It's very absorbent and that means you can get away with a lot with acrylics. A lot. With acrylics. I'm thinking maybe I want to create a bit of a This is why I love creating from my mind. I want a bit more red and that into there. Ultramarine Bro we use, wasn't it? And um, something there. So I'm thinking mid ground. So we've got the sky, which is the distance we've got. The mid ground there, and this is the foreground. So I want to maybe incorporate something there. So I'm just putting a bit of dark colour in a minute, and then down here we come into this slightly lighter colour. This is a bit more white because we're going to be painting snow. So what I'm thinking as I'm painting. Is I need to check my cameras. I'm mean, just what I'm thinking. <laughs> just need to check my cameras are working, my voice is working, and all that other stuff. Yeah, all these things to think about when I'm doing stuff like this. Can't just come in and relax. You know, when I paint for YouTube, it's very hard to try and talk and paint and worry about other things. And, but it takes your mind off those things that we're always worrying about. So. That's why I come in here, and I love sharing my time and having your company. And I want to thank you for taking the time to to watch this old Welshman paint paintings that are not great works of art by any way, shape, or form. But what they are is just ways to show you that what you can create and what we can do when we practice. Because this is just like a practice session for me. I haven't painted anything serious for months and months and months because like I said my mojo is not that good. But what I do enjoy is coming in and painting things like this. Now, we need to put some trees or something in place because I'm saying we need to think about... I'm going to mix a little bit more of this up a minute. There we go, a bit more white. I'm gonna have to get. Uh, I'm gonna have to get somebody to buy me some paints for Christmas. I think I'm running a bit low on paints. Is that nice? That's a nice like. That's a nice lightish color. Let's get that a little bit lighter. Let's get that a little bit lighter. The price of paints. I I actually bought this tube of um, uh, titanium white from a from a store, and wow, I was really surprised how much it was. I just want to put some very light 
tree shape patterns in the background right now. Maybe it's just a little bit too light. Maybe we just want to light and dark that up a touch more. Maybe because what I can see is not necessarily what you can see because it might be a little bit light for camera. So I'm always making these adjustments. All I want to do is put some shadows, shapes, just tap in the brush. I'm putting these shapes in. Like that. Easy, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's what they say. Just putting that in there like that. Just little shadows, just so far away you can't even tell them what they are. So far away, all you can see is just a little, tiny little silhouette shape type of thing against the sky. Because that sky is, that's wonderful, that sky. I quite like that sky. I really do. Let's just continue some of these. Maybe, maybe, maybe in our world these are just slightly in front of those ones, so they're going to be slightly darker like that. I wasn't going to be a, a, ro a row of trees there, but they are now. So they, they might disappear, because I got, I got mine to put in some trees here, so these just might disappear. So, but we know they're there. We know they're there. And as long as we know they're there, then that's fine. Do you know, I hurt my arm the other week, and it's um, ooh, so painful. It really is. Okay, I'm not going to do any more of them, but there you can see, you can see what I've done there. So I'm just going to smooth that in like that. Blend that in. That's nice. I quite like that. Now I'm going to get the darker colour. Make these trees just a little bit, a bit more of tree shape. Not spending too much time on detail. One time to check that camera again. So we got those cameras. There we go. Hello, cameras. <laughs> I only got three. I only got two cameras. No, three cameras today. I've only got three cameras working today because I've had a, had a bit of a problem. I've had a bit of a problem with my cameras, and. Um, yeah, one decided just to go blinky blink on me, so it doesn't matter. I'll manage with what I've got. I'm just going to make this a little bit warmer. A little bit more warmth, a bit more warmth. Maybe look at like as if there's a few. Are those Christmas tree shapes? Those pines? Trees, no, no, that, like that, just like that. They're a bit smaller because they're going further into the distance, so, and they're slowly disappearing down there. Pulling that down, just like that. Mm. Now I can see a shape. I can see a shape there. So I'm going to pull this shape in. Just like that. It's going to come into that dark colour I put in earlier. There we go. That looks nice. I quite like the way that is looking. Let's get a little bit of blue. Just there, like that. Bit of moisture. No paint, just a little bit of moisture on the brush. Just to drag that down like that. 
And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a little bit of this Prussian blue. Just to that purple. Let me go. I'm just going to put a little line just under there, maybe a little bit more blue. Sometimes it's easier to put up um, a broken line. You see more if you have a broken line. Let's put a little bit of shadow there. Just like that. So you can see this little bank. We have created now a little bank. Now this is going completely off what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry that off reset my cameras and then uh, come back to this in a second okay so i just dried that off um where did i put my mist in white you've seen me using this so many many times all it is is a little bit of translucent white paint called mixing mixing white i call it misting white because i can do some things like this and because I'm working on cardboard that means I can thin this down really 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 as much as I like but if you've got canvas then you can still thin this particular down this particular medium down or paint down as much as you want as long as you finish the painting give it a couple of weeks to dry and cure because it takes a couple of weeks for a crack paint to actually cure um, and then you can varnish it and that's that lock everything in place so Got a few hiccups now. I'm going to get some of this mist in white. I'm just going to go over a couple of them trees over there like that. And I'm just going to put them right in a the distance. Just like that. Basically putting a very, very thin, a very, very thin translucent coat of paint over them. That's all we're doing. So rather than mixing, messing around with different tones and trying to get those, those tones correct, this is a way of just doing a cheat, really. <laughs> there's, there's no cheating in art. Art is what you want it to be. So if anybody says to you that copying and tracing and all this other stuff is cheating, it's not cheating. Michelangelo was doing that centuries ago in the Sistine Chapel when he used to draw the, the main patterns out on parchment paper prick little tiny holes all the way around the lines that he made and then that would be stuck to the ceiling in whatever tape they had to put it onto the ceiling and he used to have a little bag of stuff then of soot and he used to tap the the drawing that had the perforations in it and when he took the paper off the wall it left a, a trace in behind so if Michelangelo can do it so can you <laughs> lovely lovely type of Christmassy scene that we are creating today so I'm just going to go into some pure pure white because I want to put some snow in I want to bring this snow down just like this there we go On the same this side, very, very lightly now. Making this nice and cold. All our colour we put underneath is going to look like shadows. And, and that's what we want. Now I've got some Christmas card paintings on the channel. If you want to pop along and have a look at the... The playlists that I've got, so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. As I've said, to miss you don't want to miss out on any future content. But there's loads of videos on my channel if you want to go and check them out. And I highly recommend you you do check the the Christmas channel out because it's got a lot of paintings. And what I'm going to do because I'm going on vacation next week, so I won't be in the studio to be able to do a lot of painting and things. So. 
I'm going to make a little compilation of a couple of videos of my favourite videos, my favourite Christmas videos. Because I, I don't want to be doing too much Christmassy card paintings. And I've done loads over the years, absolutely loads. And it's very hard not to overdo this type of painting. So we've got we've already got that there, and we've got this lovely looking. That's a river. That's gonna be a world river. I mean it'd be fun if we put a bridge or something and I don't know about that yet but I just I think I'm just going to keep this really basic today but you could put a bridge in if you wanted to you could put a bridge in a bit of burnt umber now a bit of Prussian blue there we are burnt umber Prussian blue and um, we'll uh, put some red with that as well Ooh, look at that let's get some white I just want to see what type of color I had there that's lovely that's lovely the color I want to darken that up a touch more. Darken that up. A bit more red. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna just, I don't like putting dark black in, but in this case I'm going to. Because I want to put a... I'm going to put a tree there. I'm going to put a little baby tree there. I'm going to put a, a big old trust tree just by there like that. Maybe that's going all the way up there like that. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can put another one. Just there. We could put some bushes and things there. So let's get these trees in first. We're going to make these happy trees. Eh? There we go. Let's tappy, 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 tappy. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I'm not going to talk because I want to concentrate and my arm is killing me. Oof. I'm getting to that age you know, when I've got a little bit of osteoarthritis come in and I went to the doctors the other day and you look at my hips and stuff and then he said, you, you might have to go and have an x-ray. So. When I come back off holiday, then I'm going to book in and get my hips checked. Always been uh, afraid of let's put some bushes there. I've always been afraid of losing my eyesight and stuff like that and I feel so sorry for people that have lost their eyesight. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my eyes. Because my creativity is, is, see all those trees that we put behind there and now we've lost them, but we know they're there. <laughs> we know they're there. Taking the paint off my brush and I want to put some Shadows just down like this. We can put some snow and things there. But the trees are looking quite nice. Let's go back into our nice purpley colour that we made. I've not washed my brush. It's okay. It's fine. I'm just going to go back over now. A couple of these. Not all over. Not completely all over. I don't want to kill everything. I want to kill all those shadows that I've made there. Because that's important we keep some of these shadows in place. Because what that does, it gives us the illusion that we've got a little bit of depth there. And these are just the little bits of tree lights, light 
that the tree is just picking up just a little bit there like that see keep that one dark put a little bit of light on this bush and thing and now bring that color down again like that bedding them trees in so we've, we don't want to do anything to that now do we they they are fine we could have misted them off just a little bit more maybe maybe we'll put some i don't know i tell you what we'll do we'll just put a few get rid of that just paint over that bit that was annoying me i'm just going to put a few things like this I will work hard out in a second. <laughs> Let's get a bit more of this lighter colour now. I'm just going to check my cameras are all working. I'm hoping this will work all right. I hope this looks all right on camera. So let's put a little bit of this. Like I said, next week, there's going to be a few of my favourite, or one or two of my favourite Christmas videos, which are available. As I've said on the channel, so please, 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 please go and check them out. We need to put some snow on these, but before I do that, I want to get some snow coming down. Just like this. I need a bit more chunky snow now. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe that's just coming in and around. There's a little pool. There's a little eddy. What they call a little eddy of water there is. It's a little like a little where the the waters come down and it's just whoosh, 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 made its own little path because water will water will always find a way. Always find the most direct route. I don't know. There is a there is a reason why rivers twist and turn, and I can't for the life of me, <laughs> life of me, remember what that is. And if anybody can remember why they do that, but it always it'll always find its it'll always find the easiest route water, which is cool. So we got a nice bit of snow. Maybe we put some bushes and a couple of rocks and things in the second. We can put some snow on this in the second too falling from the sky let's get a bit of shadow because we want some shadow under these trees a bit of shadow maybe that's true shadow is maybe the lights come in this direction so if it is we need to put some shadows of that tree just like that. There we go. Get some snow. I get some snow. I'm gonna make sure I don't overdo this. So it's heavy snow. It's been snowing really heavy. You could have put a mountain in the background. Maybe in your painting, you could do this and. Maybe you could have a, a mountain in the background. Today I just want to put some snow just here and there like that. Maybe it's a little bit catching on that tree there. A little bit on that bush. Just like that. Maybe there's a few little bits and pieces just Flowing up. Let's get our brush. Put a few of these on the dark. Where's our dark color gone? There we are. Let's get a bit of a put some twigs and things, and that you know, could be a those little the dips and dobs that I put there could have been trees in the background. There we go. 
of a let's get uh, let's get um, just put a few little bits and pieces like that there we go how is that looking is it looking okay I hope it is I don't know so I love making things up as I go along let's just put a let's put a rock just there like that let's get some snow I don't want to put any more white paint on my palette because it's expensive <laughs> There's a bit of snow just on that rock like that. We could have, we could have some grass. I should do really is this, shouldn't I? Oh yeah, that's better. Let's get some more of this white paint. I really put some snow. This always works better with a thicker paint. Blending that in there like that. Do, 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 do. Blend that down then. a few rocks and bits of pieces there, maybe there's a little bit of gravel, I don't know, something like that anyway. Let's get some more snow. Yeah, I'm chewing my paintbrush again, because it shouldn't do that really. There we are, that's nice, I like that, that's really nice, I like that. Let's get some I just want to put a water line. Just under there like that. And maybe another little water line or something this like that and just a maybe there's a little bit of flow in that river. There we go. We could put our birds in, as we normally do. <laughs> that looks like a... I don't know what that is. Okay, let's try again. Never fret. And if you want to, if I did have a toothbrush here somewhere. I did have a toothbrush. Where's my toothbrush gone? Doesn't matter. Let's get some paint and just, just flick some. If I, if you could, if I could get this to flick. Well, it's not flicking as I want it to. It doesn't matter. Okay, I spoiled it now, but it doesn't matter. Let's just, let's just dip that. Get that out of the way like that. Okay, don't do that. You don't want to do that, you might spoil it. <laughs> but it's okay, it doesn't matter. Get some, get a toothbrush and just flick some snow on there. Uh, where's my, where is my toothbrush? I, I can't think where my toothbrush has gone. I needed something a little bit more bristly to, to do that. And I can't, I wanted to put some snow on. Oh, it doesn't matter. So dip your brush into some, some thin paint and just flick it on like this. To flick it towards you and you'll make like a nice Christmassy card scene. But anyway, that's enough of that. I'm getting ready for my holidays. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I hope that's okay. And uh, don't forget to check out next week and I'll put um, some paintings on next week um, of my favourite, my favourite 
Christmas card paintings. So like every every week, what I'm going to do now is just going to ruin this by adding more to it when I should be walking away from it. I'm thinking that's kind of a nice card. Take a photograph of that, get it printed out, just make a Christmas card with it, and Bob's your uncle. So have a nice one, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.